Hi, my name is Corey Collins and I'm the product manager for Hips and Sips. And my name is Michael Hennifer and I'm a developer on the Hips and Sips product team. The Keras application used for sonar processing is Hips and Sips. We've been working on it for around 10 years and in that time we've added support for over 40 different sonar data types and we've also added many tools for data processing and data cleaning. We are currently developing a 64-bit version of HIPS and SIPS. In today's world with ever-increasing sizes of data sets, it's very important that we take advantage of today's technology. Uh, we feel we are doing this with the 64-bit version of HIPS and SIPS as well as with multiprocessing that we're adding. Our initial implementation of GeoCoder was released with HIPS and SIPS 7.0. We currently support Kongsberg and Rezon systems. Over 2010, we plan on implementing various other formats such as Klein SDF uh, and various sonars stored in the XDF format. The latest version of Plot Composer in Keras Hips and Sips 7.0 is used to create charts, posters, and plots from within the field for presentation purposes. We currently support several bathymetric LiDAR formats in Hips and Sips 7.0. Uh, those formats include LADs, shoals, and generic bathymetric LiDAR stored in LAST format. We've also currently uh, been working on and are implementing support for the Hawkeye uh, bathymetric LiDAR system. 3D visualization is very important to the HIPS and SIPS workflow. It allows the user to view the data in a normalized 3D view and easily see various features in their data. Once they see those features, they can easily launch Subset Editor to clean the data. My favorite feature of HIPS and SIPS is the 3D view. Today's technology has allowed us to do many interesting things within the view and add many interesting innovations. Um, from a personal standpoint, I've also spent a lot of time at Keras working on this view and have had a lot of fun while developing it. Also, I'm looking forward to adding many new innovations to the view. The thing I like best about HIPS and SIPS is the vast uh, variety of line processing tools that we have. It really allows the user to uh, dig in to their data. It allows them to basically troubleshoot the data and correct these issues within the application itself as opposed to having to go back and recollect uh, data in the field.